Well, parents of a 22-year-old deceased student, they say that they were slapped with a bill from the IRS resulting from their son's student loan, his federal loan. We're talking about Nora and Don Brennan. Their son, Keegan, of course, died in 2012 from a tragic brain aneurysm six months after graduating with student loan debt upwards of 78 grand. Now, that was forgiven on his death, but the Brennans, they were hit with a tax bill of uh, 33000 This is what the IRS considered to be income, that loan forgiveness. Uh, first of all, student loans in this country, I think that they're one of the great scandals that are allowed to be perpetuated, yeah. the great crimes against uh, Americans, hardworking Americans were sold this lie. But if you get this four-year degree, that in many times is worthless and take on this massive amount of debt, that all will, all will go well. And um, the $78,000 student loan that their son took out for an art degree they were the guarantors of, so they, they co-signed it with him. Tragically, he died six months after graduating um, with this art degree, and he's a really talented artist. We have some um, artwork that he's actually done, a very gifted artist, very tragic case of a young man dying uh, suddenly and unexpectedly. And um, here we have this family that, because they co-signed his loan, even though it was forgiven, the IRS under some obscure law considers that income. How is that fair? It's, it's, it's not at all. And what it is really on the gover government's part is them just adding insult to injury. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what, what needs to happen is, you know, I, I think we need to bring more attention to stories like this uh, so that something can be done. And I, I hope that they don't have to pay re repay the, the right. remaining balance, whatever that is. But right. to see that as income is just wrong. Well, how it's the plight of many Americans, you know, a student loan debt is crippling this country. If you work a, you know, a, a, a job that doesn't pay you a lot of money and you, you're saddled with a student loan debt, it really, it impedes your life. You don't get yeah. married, you don't have children, you don't do anything but pay off this stupid debt for the rest of your life. And it's really um, backbreaking for a lot of people. And the fact that the IRS, so just going over the numbers here with you, well, first of all, Keegan's father called it a punch in the face. We're talking about 78,000. First of all, I'm not sure that a, a, an art degree wow. from a state school is worth 78 grand, um, but neither here nor there, um, the, the loan was forgiven. That's justifiable. If somebody died six months after graduating with this degree, obviously it's not been, you know, been used and, the, the guarantor is still on the hook. And going to your point of adding insult to injury, that is exactly the sentiment that a Maine Senator, Angus King, had to say. Uh, that was his comment when hearing about this case. He's actually taken up the issue for them, um, trying to change the policy. Here's what he had to say. It's, he says, it makes no sense from the point of view of policy. It's just the opposite of compassion. It's literally adding insult, in this case, to tragic injury. Well, when has the IRS ever been compassionate, number well, one? The, the IRS, but like the school, too. The school should say, OK. We're talking about federally know. subsidized student loans, though. And the government. Mm -hmm. I love Elizabeth Warren for her stance on student loans and how she's trying to make it harder for students to be taken advantage of. But the federal government has subsidized these loans, and um, it's a way of, the, of, of them financing things that they've taken money out of, out of other things right. for. Subsidizing um, and, and stealing it from our pockets here yeah, and taking advantage of the fact that, you know, we live in a system where you have to go to school to be you know, a normal functioning human being. But most being. four, most four years degrees at this point are worthless. I mean, it's like, it's uh, like going to high school. It, right. it is, right. So it's like to, to stand out, you should go to grad school and mm -hmm. get more, right. get more debt. But you know, it, do you awareness have student loans? On the, Can I ask you on a different note? I, I do, I do. Um, luckily my payments aren't that high, right? So it's not, you know, crippling me in any way. But you know, at the same time though, um, this is something that more and more people are talking about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people like Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, even if we're going to take the extreme route. Uh, but President Obama, too. You know, something that a lot of people are talking about more and more, and it's something that I would like to see definitely become more in the forefront mm -hmm. when it comes to the debates mm -hmm. in this country. Right. Well, taking that, that student loan uh, debate and how, how ir you know, irresponsible it is on, on behalf of, of the federal government to, to make students get into this much debt, selling them this lie, and, you know, thousands, tens of thousands, and I've heard in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars, you can never pay that off in a lifetime, and it's amortized, and it's designed to keep you in this cycle of perpetual debt. Taking that out of this equation for just a moment and talking about the problem at hand, uh, the forgiven debt, it was considered taxable income by the IRS, go figure, and uh, they wanted their cut. Now, 27000 is owed to the IRS, 6300 to the state. The bill, uh, the Brennans, they're saying they're paying $400 monthly. They haven't defaulted on it. They're honoring this, despite the fact that this is a really bad policy. And we have um, Senator King, who is trying trying to, to overturn such an unjust 
in just law on the books. And unfortunately for right now, this family is stuck paying it. But it really opens up in this country a serious debate about student loans, you know, the value of education, what they're worth, and how the government will go after you, in this case, long after the student has died.